Yeah, the other Lee Siegel lives in New Jersey. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Lee Siegel, and I'm a writer, as opposed to a few other things, a professor at the University of Hawaii. And there's another Lee Siegel, very prolific, also a writer, and who describes himself as a, a cultural critic. And over the years, we've been mistaken for each other. Very recently, he wrote an article in the New York Times explaining pretty proudly how he defaulted on his student loan. I became aware of this because I immediately started to receive hate mail. Um, someone emailed me to say, how dare you as a university professor, how can you stand up in front of that class and look them in the eyes, these kids that have borrowed money to be able to hear you and will have to struggle to pay it back, you know, how dare you default. So in addition to receiving hate mail at my personal email uh, address, there were a lot of kind of write-ups and reviews of this or responses to Siegel just online. Uh, these were kind of a typical one. I pulled a super tramp and Googled the guy. There are better student loan horror stories to rally around than this 60 year old religion professor who won't even try to make his loan payments. Gosh, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm thinking here that maybe if, if this continues, if I continue to get these, that I ought to pay off his, his student loan to give me some break here. You know, when they identified him, in writing that op-ed piece, they said, author of five books. And so, you know, there, that was the ambiguity, I think, that allowed people uh, to mistake us. You know, if you just type Lee Siegel books, we get uh, sort of uh, consolidated into one mysterious Jewish figure. <laughs> I was just looking at my Amazon homepage and someone writing on my page that has a list of different books that I've written says, shameful deadbeat. This character is proud of the fact that he defaulted on his student loan, leaving other people to pick up his tab. What a sleaze. And um, the assumption has been that I am the sleaze. The person discovered that I had written a book about Indian magic um, and said, I hear he's a magician. Why doesn't he use some of his magic to pay back that student loan? <laughs> oh, yes. What can they do to distinguish between, I mean, a middle initial? I mean, what? Yeah, I mean, people say, why don't you use your middle initial? Well, I'm the older writer. I'm like more than 10 years older than him. I think he should use the middle initial. Um, if I were to suddenly change my name or to add a middle initial, then he'd get credit for all the books that I've written. That may be the, actually the good news here. He, he you know, he causes quite a stir. People are interested in him. And my hope is that by accident, um, they buy some of my books, you know, mistaking uh, me for him. So your message to the readers is? is pay back your student loan. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you.